Performance, Columbia College Bookstore, Betts Jewelers, and N.H. Shepherds Distributing Company. Cougar Athletics broadcasts are produced for Cougar fans by the Columbia College Athletic Department. We now take you to today's Cougar broadcast. Good evening and greetings from the arena of the Southwell Complex, where tonight the sixth-ranked Columbia Cougar volleyball team entertains the Harris Stowe Hornets in AMC postseason tournament play for the Cougars. It's the first step of a long road to the national tournament. And for this Cougar team, it's also another opportunity to kind of put things all in order as they prepare for a regional competition that will take place next week, which you know the Cougars will be invited to. For the Harris Stowe Hornets, they must win tonight or their season will be over. The Hornets come in with a record of 7-26. and 26. They are 0-13 in the American Midwest Conference. And, of course, for the Columbia Cougars, they come in with a record of 24-6. and The Cougars are 14-0 through the league round-robin section. And in fact, they won the regular season league title. They'd like to match that now with a AMC postseason championship title as well. Cougars 24-6, 14-0, and they are coached by Melinda Rye Washington and Coach Washington, the postseason. Is finally here. Yeah, you know, we've been building up to this. You know, we've got uh, first round tonight, which is one seed versus the eight seed. So a little bit of a lighter match tonight, but uh, it'll give us a, uh, I'll give a good speech pregame for, for postseason and uh, let our girls, we're ending, ending someone's season tonight. So uh, we, we need to respect that from here on in. You know, every every team we play, we're, we're ending their season uh, potentially. So uh, teams tend to play a little bit harder when, when their season's on the line. So uh, the girls need to learn a little bit of a lesson. Use it to our advantage and uh, prepare for Thursday and hopefully Saturday's matches. How much uh, of a different approach do you take to the postseason than you do to uh, a normal match uh, with a story program like Columbia College? You're talking about the AMC postseason tournament. Uh, granted, you guys are hosting the national tournament. Uh, do you put a lot of attention to changing gears here? Um, yeah, you know, we're, we've, we've uh, kicked our plyometric program up a little bit. We've, we've got about three weeks, four weeks here before nationals actually come. Uh, it's to our advantage, we know we're in, in the national tournament. We've, we've earned our ranking at number six so far. Um, you know, unless there's a major upset in the California region, it looks like we'll probably remain the same as far as national rating. So we've done our job at this point uh, to, to get into the rankings and to be one of the top seeds in the tournament. Uh, now we need to maintain. You know, it, it's like I said earlier, uh, we, we're ending people's seasons. And, um, you know, tonight it won't be as much of an issue, but uh, Thursday, Saturday, and then again next Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, those can get, those games can get, you know, a little bit tight. Uh, those their teams are a little bit better, and they're they're playing a little bit harder. And we have a target on our back anyway, uh, as we're um, we've had a history of winning the region in the conference. So uh, the girls need to understand that the teams are going to play a lot harder at this point, and we need to maintain our level of play and kick it up, you know, a notch, another notch for nationals, uh, and start preparing for those types of matches. Are you a lock with the sixth ranking in the country uh, for the national tournament at number six? If we can maintain, yes, uh, yes. Even regardless of win or lose in the region, we'll uh, we'll get in with our at-large bid. Uh, but we already get the host bid, so we're in no matter what. But um, if if the ranking were to stay the same after next week's ranking, then we would be in regardless of where we were in the country and whether we were hosting or not. So um, we've done we've done our job up to this point. We we played a good schedule. We played some good uh, good teams, and we beat some good teams, and and earned some respect by playing some some teams whose coaches are rankers and raiders and and getting their respect uh, when they see us on the road. So I think we've done our job uh, as far as rankings go, which is, is what every team has to do down the road. Um, and now we just need to maintain. We need to win these matches. We need to come in expecting to win them in three and, and do our best to, to better ourselves and, and play at a higher level uh, to prepare for national. How about the play? Have you been pleased? I mean, you have reeled off a number of match victories in a row and kind of come in here with a full head of steam. You know, we're getting better. I think that uh, we're turning the corner a little bit. Juliana's feeling a little bit better uh, this week. Uh, she she really struggled after Georgetown. She was really sore, and then we, we had to play UIS right away early that week, that next week, and uh, she really struggled through the UIS match. Uh, actually had to come out towards the end of the match with, with her back injury, but um, has has really bounced back this week. She had two or three days off, and then uh, a lot of rest and a lot of uh, rehab, and, and she's really looking a lot better. She practiced full for the first time yesterday since... Uh, into September, I think, um, you know, without restriction. So 
Uh, that, that's good that we've turned that corner. She needs to get back in shape now and, and, and work on her physical conditioning. She hasn't forgotten the game. She's a senior. No, she, she knows how to play volleyball, but uh, sharpening up her, her physical condition and, and sharpening up her skills from for being out for so long and having to adjust due to the back injury um, will be her challenge from here until uh, the last week of November. So she's getting better. Uh, you know, I think the team overall is getting better. I think the leadership is starting to step up. We're starting to challenge them a little bit more in practice. We're, uh, my assistant coach and I are playing a uh, former player uh, that helps us coach a little bit. She's in, and she's playing with them in practice, and we're, we're really challenging them and, and putting them down in situations, and uh, I think that's going to help them in nationals. Is there still competition for spots? on this team? Definitely so. You know, we had um, uh, quite a few players that have gone through injuries, minor injuries or overuse injuries. A um, couple of players who are good in several skill levels uh, or several skill uh, areas and other players that are good in some different skill areas but play the same position. So it's kind of a give or take depending on who we play, depending on whose skills match up best with the opponent. Uh, you know, our right sides, we have one that's just a dominant blocker but one that creates a lot of offense left-handed on the right side and that's the choice that we would make depending on who we're playing if we're playing a big big uh big team that has big outside hitters that are going to set potentially all their balls you know most of their balls to the left side of the court uh we're going to use our blocker you know if we have a team that's heavy in the middle but not the outside then we're going to use the the offensive weapon so i think there's there's challenges at every position and, and girls that are getting better at every position you're looking though for this club to be focused tonight aren't you regardless of who you're playing i think so you know i i, I Worked him pretty hard yesterday. We did some pretty heavy plyometric workout uh, yesterday. We typically won't do that the day before a game, but we need to learn to play tired. Uh, national tournament is pretty grueling for the NAIA. It's not like uh, NCAA where they've got two or three days of rest in between. This is a uh, seven matches in four days if you make it all the way to the final, which we've done that four times since I've been here, and it's really grueling. And part of our the, re the reason we have been successful in the past is that we don't get tired after the third or fourth match. We, you know, we have a level of conditioning. We do lunges every day. We have a uh, really heavy warm-up every day that's kind of is a, a plyometric and strength program that we do every day. And a lot of uh, recruits that I have come in can't get through that. You know, they struggle just getting through our warm-up. So I think that helps us. Our level of conditioning helps us in uh, consistently training. Even though it is the day before a game is today, uh, you know, that's going to help us. We have to learn to play tired. We have to learn to win tired. And that was my goal for tonight. We're, we're, we should be good and tired after yesterday's heavy plyometric work. Um, the work we did yesterday is a two-day recovery period. And we're not going to have that, so... Today we should play tired, and hopefully we can win. Good luck today. Thank you. And that's the head coach of the Columbia Cougars, Melinda Rye Washington. The Harrisville Hornets are coached by Johnny Chinahone and Coach Chinahone. How about the Hornets? How are they playing coming into this? It's an elimination match for your team. Um, we are struggling this year because we have a lot of uh, inexperienced players. They have good skills, but they lack college.
Lindsay Durkis will be a right-hand outside hitter from Lindbergh High School in St. Louis, a freshman. Another outside hitter is Megan Crawl. Crawl is from Rittner High School in St. Louis, a freshman. Another outside hitter is Lindsay Nagel out of Notre Dame High School in St. Louis, a junior. Another outside hitter is Angela Leha, a junior from St. Louis Christian High School in St. Louis. And running out the starting lineup is Rhonda Chapman from Chicago. She's a transfer from Southern Suburban Community College. Johnny Chitholm is the head coach of Harris Stowe. For the Columbia Cougars, outside hitter is Daniela Brasolino, a 5'10 senior, a transfer from Oral Roberts. University. The middle hitter is Juliana Quadrado, an All-American from North Central Texas Community College, a Brazilian by nature. Fabiana Nass, also from Brazil, will be an outside hitter from the University of University Santa Catarina, a 6'1 freshman. Luana Branco, an All-American from Brazil, will be the center for the Cougars, a 5'10 junior. Yi Zhang Li, a 5'11 junior, out of China is a junior, again a 5'11", and she will be an outside hitter. A middle hitter, a middle blocker is Marie Almonde from Kenya. Almonde, 5'9", a sophomore. The libero is Jessica Williams from Camdenton, Missouri. She is the libero, as I mentioned, a 5'4", sophomore. She'll also play as a defensive specialist and will serve here tonight. Melinda Ryan Washington in her 11th year overall, her 8th season at Columbia College, now 303 match wins here, 38 defeats, 379 career wins, with her stint over at Westminster, and 58 defeats. Yes. Those are the starting lineups, and four moments away from the first serve. It's the Cougars ranked sixth in the country, taking on Harris Stowe here at the arena of the Southwell. Bambinos, how can I help you? Holy cow! My hunger's got me by the you-know-whats, but I really shouldn't be driving right now. Harry! Don't worry, buddy. At Bambinos, you can cruise your noodles. Just call us and tell us what you're hungry for, and we can deliver it to you. We even cater for large groups. Hi! That sounds great, but I can't remember what I want. No problem, Harry. You got the internet up there? You bet! I wasn't that crazy about it till I discovered those just surf over to BambinosItalianCafe.com. You can check out our full menu, see all of our daily food and drink specials right there on the web. Holy cow! What if I decide to come down for a frosty cold one and watch the game? Well, get on down here, Harry. Bambino's Italian Cafe is in downtown at Hinton Locust. Or if you decide you want to carry out or delivery, just call us back at 443-4473. Hi! Uh-huh. Call back. Bye-bye, Hey, you work hard. And not only do you work hard, but when you play, you play hard, right? So when do you have it easy? Cost cutters. Cost cutters pros know how to cut it right. Cost cutters. And right away. Make it happen. And you don't have to have an appointment. Cost cutters makes your hair look great. And that makes you feel great because you're looking good. You're walking out with cost cutters smiling. You're happy that you got a professional cut. Fit right into your really busy day. It's so easy at cost cutters. Cost cutters. Open every day. Make it happen. And open Monday through Friday till 8. Just walk into one of their five minute Missouri locations. You work hard. You play hard. But getting your hair cut at cost cutters, that's easy. Get in, get out. Get down, no doubt. That's what cost cutters is all about. For hair that rocks when you're on a roll, there's only one place you need to go. Cost cutters. They fit your lifestyle. Cost cutters. It's all about style. At the three in Columbia plus Jeff City and Moberly, they make it happen seven days a week. Cost cutters. Columbia College is once again home of the NAIA Volleyball National Championship, and the action runs from November the 28th through December the 1st. You too can be part of this spectacular event by volunteering. Volunteers will receive free admission to all matches and a free t-shirt. Get all the details online at ColumbiaCougars.com or contact Cindy at 573-875-7454. Volunteer today and be a part of the NAIA Volleyball National Championship. can be a real balancing act, can it? Careers, kids, mortgages. And the more things are up in the air, the more you want them under control. That's where Shelter Insurance comes in. We insure your car, home, life, and peace of mind. We offer competitive rates, too.
to take care of the business of life so you can concentrate on something more important, enjoying your life. Interested? Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Seek shelter today. Back here at the arena of the Southwell Complex, it's the Columbia Cougars and the Harris Stowe Hornets in first round action of the American Midwest Conference postseason tournament. For the Hornets, a victory tonight, they get to play on Thursday. For the Cougars, a victory tonight, they play on Thursday. If the Cougars were to lose tonight, they would be competing in regional competition the following week. But for the Hornets, they have to play and play to live another day. As the Cougars with that national ranking of sixth in the country now in a spot where they could just wait for the national tournament to have that at large bid there, but they don't want to go into the national tournament that way. They want to go in ready to play and playing their best volleyball. They want to compete for a national title here in Columbia at the end of the month. As we wait for the checking of the rotation by the officials, we're a few seconds away here from this first serve. Cougars be defending the court to our north and the Hornets to the court to our south. To our left, Hornets to our left, and the Cougars to our right, and that's the north for the Cougars, the south for the Hornets. As we are ready for the first serve, and it looks like Columbia will have the first serve. And shake up in the lineup as Kara McWilliams is going to get the honors here to deliver the first serve. As they wait for the volleyball, I think they're checking a couple of the players to make sure they don't have any jewelry. Karen McWilliams getting a start here as a server. And there, Daniela Rosalino is the one that's got to clear her ear of jewelry. And they get that taken care of, and we are ready, I think, to proceed. Cougars beat the Hornets in three quick games, both meetings this year. And Karen McWilliams anxiously awaits a volleyball, so she can make the first serve. Serving from our right to the left. Kara McWilliams from Summersville, Missouri, a 5'11 junior. Transfer from Three Rivers Community College. McWilliams now finally ready, and here is the first serve of tonight's match. And it is dug out on the back row by Chapman. They set on the right side. The hit by Nagel, handled by the Cougars. And the Cougars set Ejong Lee, and she hits it side out. And it's one to nothing. Harris Stowe, as they draw first blood here on the miss hit. Now Harris Stowe will hand the ball over to Megan Traw. Traw's line drive serve, dug by Rosalino, the set by Bronco, and a block up front on the kill attempt by Yijong Lee with a block. Chapman, and Chapman credited with a block, and it's two to nothing, Harris Stowe. Traw's next serve, dug by Jessica Williams. Bronco with a quick dump in, that's handled on the back row by Dirkus. Here's the set. Bronco picked. 
picks up another six. And it is a 4-4 four, four match. 4-4. Four, four. And here's the serve by Quadrano. High arc serve. And a quick shot dumped in there by the Hornets. Omande will set Terry McWilliams. And McWilliams shot is blocked by Rhonda Chapman. Chapman with her second block. Hornets regained the lead 5-4 here in game one. Lindsey Nagel now will serve. Handled by Brazzolino. The Bronco back to Brazzolino, and that's hit to the back row where Jessica Williams gets it up front. The Bronco to Brazzolino. That's dug out of there by Nagel. Back to Nagel, and her still attempts into the net. Point Cougars in 5-5 five five is the score in game one. Big Williams comes out, checking back in is Fabiana Nass. Solana Bronco with a serve, and her hammered serve is going to go down as an ace. Lindsey Durkis tried to take it out and didn't hit it cleanly. They batted it around but couldn't get it out. It'll be an ace for Luana Bronco. Cougars have a 6-5 lead, their first lead here in game one. Luana Bronco's next serve is dug out by Thrall and getting across the net for the Hornets as they settle Monday of the Cougars and a double hit. Point Cougars, Omande with a kill. Omande gives the Cougars a 7-5 lead here in game one. Luana Bronco again ready to serve. Her high arc serve is an ace. As Lindsey Durkis didn't use her feet to get underneath that serve, and the Cougars go up by three. 8-5, turning around a three-point deficit earlier. Sets. Signal from Coach Washington. She serves it again. Right at Durkis. Durkis gets it over. And a shot that got in the back row by Yijong Lee. Up to Bronco. Now to Brazzolino. Brazzolino shot that got in there by the Hornets. Jessica Williams over to Brazzolino. That's handled in the back row by Nagel. And then a shot fired long by Megan Troll. Side out point Cougar. And Columbia goes up by four here in game one nine five. Luana Bronco will serve. Bronco ready with an ace. Here is her serve. And that's handled by Durkis. And here's the shot fired in by Rhonda Chapman for a kill. Cougars blocked it, but it went side out. Crowd still gathering. The serve goes back to Harris Stowe. And in the serve is Jenny Barkley. Barkley from East St. Louis. Her serves across. Williams takes it. Set by Bronco for Omande. That's dug on the back row by Nagel, and the Cougars scramble to get it under control. Here's the set for Nass. That's handled by Grionis, and a net violation charged to Columbia. Point for the Hornets. No, it was a net violation charged to the Hornets. Rosalino will serve, so the Cougars go up 10-6. Rosalino will serve as an error side out. And it's a three-point Cougar lead. Now Angela Aleja will serve. Aleja's line drive serve dug by Williams. The Bronco up front. They set Nass from the right side. The left hand's in for a Probably on and Nass with a strong move off that right side. Cougars go up 11-7. Jessica Williams will serve for Williams serving from the middle. Her serve to cross, and it's an ace as Chapman couldn't handle it. So Williams was the libero of the week in the conference. Cougars by five, 12 serving seven in game one. Jessica Williams next serve on the way, and that's dug in the back by Chapman. Cougars battle to get it back under control, and Juliana Quadrano flat footed. She's dumped it in the middle of the court for the point and kill. Juliana Quadrano with her first kill, and the Cougars go up by six, 13, serving seven. Jessica Williams with the serve. Line drive serve might have been out, but handled by the Hornets. They get it across. It's a shot over by Troll. Here's the set for Quadrano, and the big right hand of Juliana Quadrano puts that point on the board. Juliana Quadrano with 
their second kill. 14 serving seven. Jessica Williams, line drive serve, dug by Durkin. Durkin to Brianna. Back to Durkin for the kill. Lindsay Durkin with her first kill. Durkin will be awarded by getting a chance to serve. Eight serving 14. Durkin to serve, handled by Jessica Williams. The Bronco, here's the set for Yijong Lee. That's handled by Chapman. Chapman to Brianna to the right side. Knocking it across his neck. Oh, Cougars get under control. They set for Nass, and Nass drives it in. Fabiana Nass with her second kill. Good set, and that brings into the contest. Carry McWilliams out of Summersville, Missouri. 15 serving eight. Carry McWilliams' serve is going to go down as a, a good serve and a free ball, and the Cougars will have to scramble. And here's the set for Jean Lee, and that's in for the kill. Dijon Liu leads the Cougars and kills with 338 now with two in this game. Aaron McWilliams next serve is side out. Point for the Hornets. And now nine will serve 16. Serving is Megan Traw. Traw. Traw serve, handled by McWilliams. To Bronco, who's setting Dijon Lee on the left side. That hit. Dug out of there by Durkis. Pass up front. Brionis gets it across. Joanna Quadrano over to Bronco. They set Ejong Lee and she drives it in for the point. Ejong Lee with a third kill. And the Cougars go up 17 to 9. Ejong Lee serving from the left side. Her jump serve is an ace. Trying to dig it out of there was Megan Troll. No such luck. Yi Zhang Li with her first ace in her 53rd of the year. 18 serving nine. Next serve for Yi Zhang Li. Dirkus digs that one to Brionis. Over to Nagel. And Nagel drives it in off the left side. Nagel very athletic with the kill. Her third kill of the night. Now Alyssa Brionis will serve. Brionis will serve is into the net. Service error. And the point goes on the board for the Cougars. 19 serving 10. Game one of this AMC postseason tournament match. Joanna Quadrano's line drive serve. Dug on the back row by Mark. They get it to mid-court. The Durkis who nails the back line for the kill. Lindsay Durkis for their second kill. And 11 will serve 19. Nagel serves across, handled by Jessica Williams. Here's the set for Rosalino, and she changes speeds and dumps it in for the point. Daniela Rosalino with her second kill. Balanced attack by Columbia tonight. Now Luana Bronco will serve. 20, serving 11. Game one. Broncos high arc and serve. Dug by Barkley. And then they mishandle the pass. Point Cougars. 21, serving 11. Luana Bronco will serve. Luana Bronco serve is brought up by Barkley. They get it to midcourt. Chapman gets it across. He's young Lee with a dig. Bronco with a set for Brazzolino, and that's in for the kill. From the left sideline to the right back corner, Brazzolino drives it in. Her third kill of the game. 22 serving 11 in game one. Very quiet arena here at the Southwell Complex. Bronco served, knocked in the air by Durkis. To Nago, across with a chap. Cougars will set Omondi, and she drives it in for a kill. Maria Obande with her second kill. 23 serving 11. Bronco serve. Dug by Troll. That's hit to LaHaya. She gets it across. Cougars get it under control and they're going to call Luana Bronco on a double hit. Cougars with a 12 point first game lead. 
Now ready to serve is Jenna Barkley, the freshman out of East St. Louis. Handled by Jessica Williams. The Bronco. The Nass from the left side. That's handled by Barkley. Here's the set for Durkis. Done by the Cougars. Williams. They set Brasolino, and that's in for the kill as it went off of Barkley. Rosalino with her fourth kill. 24 will serve 12 in game one. Rosalino's jump serve dug on the back row by Chapman. Up front to Briones. Getting it across is LaHaya. Cougars will get it under control. He Zhang Lee shoots it in. Here is a shot by Troll blocked up front. Cougars will set it for E. Zhang Lee. That's blocked. No one they call with a left on the block. Cougars kind of got bunched up there along the net. Now Angela Leha will serve. 13 serving 24. Williams with a dig. Bronco will set. He's Zhang Lee. And that's the kill. Chapman couldn't dig it. He's Zhang Lee now with four kills. Jessica Williams. Serve for Columbia. Jessica's jump serve from the middle. Dug by Nagel. The set by Briones for Troll. And Troll drives it in from the left side. Very young. Young Hornets team. Erkus will now serve. This is 14 serving 25 in game one. Cougars trailed early, but they have been in control since. Williams with the dig. Here's the pass to Ejong Lee. That's dug by Durkis to Briones to Nagel. Handled by Bronco to Nass, who was set Ejong Lee. And that's batted in the air by Barkley after a block attempt. And then Troll drives it in from the middle. Megan Troll with the kill, her second. 15 serving 25. Hornets won't go away. Here's the serve by Durkis. Dug by the Cougars, they set E. Jean Lee, and there's the kill. She put it on the floor. E. Jean Lee with five kills. And 26 will serve 15. Cougars win, they will play on Thursday against the winner of the University of Illinois Springfield Williams Baptist match, which is taking place in Springfield. Well, now set for E. Jean Lee, she dumps it in. That's brought up by Barkley. They give the ball to Nagel. Now Bronco was set. He's young Lee. He's young Lee shot handled by Jerkus, but no one's there to take the pass. Point Cougars. That'll be another kill for he's young Lee. 27 serving 15. Kara McWilliams fires an ace. And as McWilliams joins in on the action. 28 serving 15. Kara McWilliams with the left hand serve. Dug by Durkis. To Briona. To Nagel. That's handled by the Cougars as E. Jung Lee gets it to Bronco to Juliana Quadrano, who misfired but drives it in anyhow. And it's game point, a timeout call by the Harris Stowe Hornets trailing 29 to 15. More Cougar volleyball in a moment. You are listening to Columbia Cougar Athletics on ColumbiaCougars.com. Follow the Cougars all season long by logging on to ColumbiaCougars.com. Get results, highlights, statistics, player information, and all the latest Cougar news. Shop for great Cougar gear at ColumbiaCougars.com. Your voice of Cougar Athletics, your source for everything you need to know about the Cougars. ColumbiaCougars.com. Here in Columbia, the Cougars lead Harrisville State College 29 to 15. It is game point. Kara McWilliams set to serve. Cougars up 29 to 15. And McWilliams serve is knocked in the air by Chapman. Far sideline. They slide to keep it alive. That's a winner. That is an ace. And the Cougars win game one, 30 to 15, making quick work of Harrisville here in the first contest. We will be back with the second game of tonight's match in a moment. This is Columbia Cougar.
volleyball. During the holidays, the Cougars, Lady Cougars, and Cartridge World presents Cougars vs. Cancer Classic at the arena of the Southwell Complex. The action starts on Friday, December the 28th at 2 p.m. when the William Wood, Lady Owls, play Concordia. At 4, Cumberland's men will test Southern Poly State. The Lady Cougars take on Lion at 6. And at 8, the Cougars and Taylor will hook up. On Saturday, December the 29th, Lady Cougars will play Concordia at 6. And the Cougars will battle Southern Poly State at 8. Cougar basketball, helping cure cancer. If you don't think it's a big deal to purchase alcohol for a minor, then you're not thinking. It's irresponsible and illegal. So if you get a shoulder tap to buy alcohol for minors, Turn the other shoulder and walk away. A message from Anheuser-Busch, N.H. Shepherd's Distributing Company, and the Columbia Cougars, reminding you to prevent. Don't provide alcohol to minors. Are you one of these kinds of dads? When the kids came along, did you promise yourself, I never want to look back and wish I'd spend less time at the office? Then you should get to know Shelter Insurance. We're here to help people who plan their lives around their families by offering life insurance that's built for your needs. Life insurance that's right for you and right for the people who depend on you. Shelter Insurance. Seek shelter today. Thank you for calling Bambino's. Holy cow! Hi, everybody. Hey, Harry. Hey, I'm looking for a place to find me a frosty cold one this evening. Well, then you got to get down here to Bambino's and abuse your noodle. Now the Cougars set Brion, uh, Danielle Rosalino and Rosalino. 
and yellow bronze Molina wearing them out off that left sideline. 5-1 Columbia here in game number two after the Cougars won the first one 30-15. Zhang Lee with a right hand jump serve. Chapman to her knees to dig it. To Nagel, they get it across, but it's side out. Point Cougars. And the Cougars go up 6-1. to one. Zhang Lee to continue to serve. John Lee's line drive serve hit by Chapman in the air, handled by Bros. Briones. The troll and troll can't get it across. Point Columbia. Cougars on a bit of a run right now. They go up seven to one. John Lee leads his club with aces. Has one here in this game. Line drive serve handled by Nagel up top to Briones. Back to Nagel. Nagel's shot handled by. Daniela Brasolino, but a net violation. Charge to the Cougars. Aristo gets the point. Now two will serve seven. And the serve by Trolls across. Juliana Quadrano with a right hand shot handled by the Hornets. Now blocked by Quadrano. And a point for the Cougars. Juliana Quadrano with a block. Eight will serve two. And Joanna Quadrano to serve. Quadrano bounces it on the floor. Line drive, duck ball serve. Dirkus can't dig it. That's an ace. Quadrano, who had three kills in the first game, has a block and an ace in this one. Cougars by seven here, nine two. Quadrano's floater across. Dago with a dig. Briones to Chapman, blocked by. Maria Omandi. And they get it across. Here's this dump in by Bronco, handled by the Hornets. Durka shoots it to the back row. Quadrano to Bronco. Bronco to Daniela Brasolino for another kill. Cougars really working the outside game. Ten serving two. Savannah Quadrano, the senior, fires it across, handled by Durka to Briona. Back row to Troll gets it across to Ejong Lee to Omande, and she shoots him a little long, side out. Omande's timing not quite on, and she hammered it deep. Side out point for the Hornets. Three will serve ten. And two serve is Alyssa Briones. Briones is line drive serve handled by the Cougars. They get it across. Great effort there by Bron Bronco. And Omande. Now Omande with a block and that goes shot for the point. Rio Omande with a block. And Luana Bronco now will serve. Bronco's line drive serve. Dug by Nagel. Here's the set for Chapman. Handled by. Rosalino, Rosalino gets the return, and that's in right inside the back line. And the Cougars take a 12-3 lead. Luana Bronco will continue to serve. Bronco waits for the whistle. There it is. And now here's her little soft serve, and that's handled by Leha. And the set by Bronco for Daniela. Rosalino, that's handled, and Rosalino returns it herself. Durkis, now getting it across is Barkley. Here is the set for Nass, and that's handled by Durkis. And the Hornets get it across, and then Obande there to try to dump it in. That's handled by the Hornets, and then a double hit. Point for the Cougars. Give Obande the kill. 13-3 Columbia. They have a 10-point advantage here in game two, trying to make quick work of Harris Stowe. Sixth-ranked Cougars. Here's the serve across by Bronco. That's handled by Leha. Bronco gets it up to Nass. Nass dumps it in off of Chapman's fingertips. Fabiana Nass with a kill. Off-speed shot. 14 serving. Bronco's next line drive serves across. Dirkus with a dig. 
and Briones gets it over to Chapman and she hits it into the net. You get the feeling that maybe the Hornets are ready to wrap up 2007. Cougars by 12. Here's the serve by Bronco. Handled by Nagel. Up front to Briones. Back to Nagel. Nagel's shot. In for the kill. Nice shot by Nagel. Lindsay Nagel out of Notre Dame High School in St. Louis with four kills. First one in this game. And Nagel now will flat foot serve it. She gets it across. Bronco will set. Brasolino. And Brasolino drives in another kill. And Yellow Brasolino with nine kills unofficially already in this match. 16 serving four. And Brasolino will serve. The transfer from Oral Roberts. Brasolino serve handled by Nagel. Up front to Briones. To Chapman. Chapman with a kill after it was deflected by the Cougar block at them. Rhonda Chapman second kill. Served by Jenna Barkley. That's across. Dug out of there by Jessica Williams. The set for Omande handled by Nagel. Nagel dumps it in. Nagel to Bronco, to Nass, to Yijong Lee. Yijong Lee shot handled by Barkley. Now, getting across is Leha. A Cougar set Yijong Lee, and she says, not any longer. We're done here with this one. She drives it in for her first kill of the second game. 17 serving five. Jessica Williams to serve. Williams high arc to serve. Knocked in the air by Leha. Then Nagel. Nagel gets it across to Williams. The Bronco who sets Joanna Quadrano. Somehow the Hornets keep it alive. Back to Quadrano. Bronco now will set Fabiana Nass. And she says, that's enough of that mess. She put it on the floor. 18 serving five. Cougars now by 13. Their largest lead in either game. Jessica Williams jump serve. Floats across. And. Sliding dig by Durkis. Out to Troll. The Durkis gets it across. The Williams. The Bronco. Right side. Yijong Lee. And Yijong Lee shot handled by the Hornets. Troll drives it. Master and ease to get it up. Now the Hornets keep it alive. And Durkis will shoot it. Ball right back corner. And they said it was in. Durkis with a kill. Her third. First of this game. And six will serve 18. Won the first one, 30 to 15. And Leha serves across, handled by the Cougars. They said Ejong Lee. Nagel punches it in the air, and they get it across. Jessica Williams, left side out. Ejong Lee handled by Chapman with a good dig, and then Ejong Lee comes right back with a return for the point. Ejong Lee has eight kills. The Cougars go up 19 to six. Gary McWilliams in the serve. McWilliams serves across, handled by Chapman in the middle of court. To Briones, to Durkis. Or is that, yeah, that was uh, Lindsey Durkis with a kill. Seven serving 19. Durkis will serve, and she hits it side out. She hit it long. Point Columbia, 20 to 7. Cougar. Yi Zhong Li now to serve. Yi Zhong Li, a 5'11 junior. Here's her jump serve, and that's handled by Durkis, batted high in the air. Over to Briones. To Nagel, that's handled by Williams of the Cougars. They set a Julian Quadrano, and Quadrano drives it in and then gets a block, but the Hornets keep it alive. And here's the set for Brasilino, and she scores another one. Daniela Brasilino with 10 kills. 21, serving 7. Cougars by 14 in game 2. Now here's Yijong Lee serve. That's across. And a quick shot fired in there by Riona. Handled by the Cougars. They set Danielle Brasolino. Brasolino then blocks a return for the point. Brasolino with a block. And it'll be 22, serving 7. Ranked team in the country living up to the billing tonight. Here is Yijong Lee serve, and that's dug by Troll. A block by Brasolino. Cougars then get it back.
Madrano will set Rosalino, tries to dump it in the middle. Nago keeps that one alive. Nago gets a return and a net violation. Charge to Columbia. Rosalino in the net. Well, they're touchy on that net violation tonight. 22 to 8 Cougars lead. Megan Traw will serve. Her line drive serve is out. She hit it just long. Boy, it was borderline. Cougars got the call and the point. Now they're seven points away from winning game two. 23 serving eight here in game two. Juliana Quadrano ready. Quadrano, line drive serve, dug by Durkin to Briones. Chapman with a kill attempt, handled by the Cougars. Now Bronco, Omande back to Bronco. That's blocked up front. Terry McWilliams will now set Omande. Omande shot, handled there by Leha. And then Durkin. Miss hits it off the back row. Point Cougars. 24 to 8 Cougars lead. And ready to serve it is Juliana Quadrano. Quadrano's line drive serve is a service error. Into the net. That might be the first service error tonight of the Cougars. According to our man, Quentin, he says that is correct. Here's nine, serving 24. Briones to serve across, handled by Daniela Brazzalino. And a block up front by Nagel. Lindsey Nagel, a junior, with a block. She now has four kills and a block. And Alyssa Briones' next service in the net for a service error, and that's given the Cougars a point. 25 10. Columbia won the first one, 30 15. Lana Bronco, 5'10 juniors, jump serves across, handled by Nagel to Briones to Chapman, and Chapman fired it in there near the 10 foot mark for the kill. Chapman with three kills. 11 serving, 25. Nagel wants a volleyball. <laughs> Lindsay Nagel serve is across. Jessica Williams with a nice dig. Here's the pass to Rosalino for the kill. And Yellow Brazzalino brought that one in from the right side. 26 serving 11, and Brazzalino's having quite a match. 11 kills and a block. Brazzalino's jump serve is a bullet handled by Nego over to Briones. They get it across. Here's Bronco setting Nass, and Nass is shot, handled by Briones. It's set by Durkis for Nego, handled by Yijong Lee. Back to Yijong Lee, off speed shot. Dug by Briones to Durkis to Lehigh. Lehigh gets it across. Cougars set Yijong Lee, and there's the kill. Yijong <laughs> Lee now with nine kills. On the service. And Yellow Brazzolino, senior transfer from Oral Roberts. Another jump serve. Handled by Nagel to Briones. To Chapman, Chapman with a big thundering kill off the right sideline. Serve four and 12 will serve 27. Hornets hanging in there. Now here's Barkley serve, handled by Williams up front of Bronco. They set Yijong Lee, and there's a bullet to the deck for the kill. Yijong Lee says, hold up, Daniela Brazzolino. I need some kills, too. That's her 10th. Now Jessica Williams will serve for the Cougars. It's 28 serving 12. Jessica Williams, the libero with the serve. That's a cross, and Durkis can't dig it. It's an ace for Jessica Williams, her second of the match, and this is game point for Columbia. 29 serving 12. Jessica Williams jumps her to Durkis, to Briones, across for Leha. Now back to Yijong Lee, off-speed shot, and it's saved by the Hornets. Nash will pass it over to Yijong Lee, and that's the game winner. Yijong Lee from the middle drove it in for her 11th kill. And the Cougars win game two by a score of 30-12. to 12. They won game one, 30-15. to 15. They win game two, 30-12, to 12, here at the arena of the Southwell Complex. And... We will take a time out and return with more Cougar volleyball in a moment. Thank you for calling Bambino. How can I help?
help you. Holy cow! My hunger's got me by the you know what, but I really shouldn't be driving right now. Harry! Don't worry, buddy. At Bambino's, you can cruise your noodle. Just call us and tell us what you're hungry for, and we can deliver it to you. We even cater for large groups. Hi! That sounds great, but I can't remember what I want. No problem, Harry. You got the internet up there? You bet. I wasn't that crazy about it till I discovered those girls gone wild. We'll just surf over to BambinosItalianCafe.com. You can check out our full menu, see all of our daily food and drink specials right there on the web. Holy cow! What if I decide to come down for a frosty cold one and watch the game? Well, get on down here, Harry. Bambino's Italian Cafe is in downtown at Hit and Locust. Or if you decide you want to carry out or delivery, just call us back. Four four three forty four seventy three. Hi. Uh huh. Call back. Bye bye. Hey, you work hard. Not only do you work hard, but when you play, you play hard, right? So when do you have it easy? Cost cutters. Cost cutters pros know how to cut it right. Cost cutters and right away. So you make it happen. And you don't have to have an appointment. Cost cutters makes your hair look great. And that makes you feel great because you're looking good. You're walking out with cost cutters smiling. You're happy that you got a professional cut. You fit right into your really busy day. It's so easy at Cost Cutters. Cost Cutters open every day. We make it happen. And open Monday through Friday till eight. Just walk into one of their five Mid Missouri locations. You work hard. You play hard. But getting your hair cut at Cost Cutters, that's easy. Get in, get out. Get style, no doubt. That's what Cost Cutters is all about. For hair the rock when you're on a roll, there's only one place you go. Cost Cutters. They fit your lifestyle. Cost Cutters. It's all about style. At the three in Columbia plus Jeff City and Moberly, they make it happen seven days a week. Cost Cutters. Here at the arena of the Southwell Complex, the Columbia Cougars now have a two games to nothing lead in this American Midwest Conference quarterfinal round of postseason tournament play. Cougars one win away from advancing to the semifinals. The Cougars won the conference title last year. They won it 05, 04, 03, 02, 01, 2000. Last year they did not win the conference championship was 19. I think that was back in the old Show Me Conference day. In volleyball, they have dominated the AMC. This year, they went 14-0. Perfect mark. Last year, Missouri Baptist had a very, very capable team. Gave the Cougars fits. Beat them in the region finals last year. Five straight years, 14 and 0 Cougars in the AMC. That's remarkable. Talking about dominating. Now in the serve is Rancili Archancho. Her serve is across, dug by the Hornets. Here in game number three, Bronco with a shot, and it's going to drop in for the kill. Luana Bronco fired it in. Bronco with four kills, and the Cougars have a one to nothing lead as Rancili Archancho, a 5'10 freshman. Ready to serve again. She is a Brazilian. And that's dug by Nagel up front to Briones to Troll. And Troll hits it side out as she hit it long. It'll be a point for the Cougars, and they go up 2-0. Cougars trying to win this match in an hour. Silly Archancho set to serve. We haven't seen Aaron McCaffrey yet tonight. Harry McWilliams got the start in the first game. Here's the serve across. Nagel with the dig. She gets the return pass. Nagel shot handled by Yijong Lee. The set by Bronco for Quadrano. In for the kill. 3 nothing Cougars. Juliana Quadrano with the kill. Her four. Now, Lancelia Archancho set to serve again. Archancho serving from the left sideline. Serve into the net. Freshman hit it low, and it's a 3-1 game. Hornets are on the board, and set to serve is Megan Traw out of Rittner High School in St. Louis. About a 5-10 freshman, and here is her serve. Dug by Rosalino to Bronco. Right side, Yijong Lee with another kill. Yijong Lee now with 12 kills. 
Cougars have the serve back, and guess who's doing the serving? He's Zhang Li. Zhang Li have nace in the first game. This one is handled by Durkis to Brionis to draw across. Williams with a dig. The Bronco to Quadrano, and that is down for another kill. Juliana Quadrano didn't get much elevation, but she caught him off guard and drove it in for her fifth kill of the match, second of this game, and the Cougars are off to a 5-1 lead. Now here is Ejong Lee's next serve. Handled by Durkis up front to Brionis. Right side Nagel blocked by Quadrano for the point. Juliana Quadrano with her second block. Six serving one. In game number three. Ejong Lee continues to serve. That back row, Angela Lehigh. Here's the serve. Nagel gets it across. Archancho with a dig to set for Quadrano for another kill. Joanna Quadrano nursing that bad back and then using her sparingly, and she drove that one in for the kill. Crawl will come out. Seven serves one. Here is Yijong Lee with another ace. As Leha could not dig it out. Cougars are starting to really pick up some momentum here. Eight serving one. Zhang Lee with another jump serve. Right hand, and Durkis with a dig. Up to Brionis. To Nago. Nago shot deflected. Knocked in the air by Archancho. To Bronco. To Brazzolino for the kill. Daniela Brazzolino now with 12 kills. Her and Zhang Lee with a little personal contest. It's nine serving one. Zhang Lee shoots it across. Durkis digs it. Brionis back to Durkis. Durkis gets it across. Handled by Yijong Lee. Back row to Bronco. Sets Brazzolino. Score it. Brazzolino drives in her 13th kill. Well, like clockwork. And serving one. Cougars trying to put the Hornets away for the year. Yijong Lee gets it across. Durkis with the dig into the Cougar side. Joanna Quadrano shot it in. The Hornets get it back. Now another set for Quadrano. That's in for the kill. Quadrano got it just inside the near sideline. Quadrano now with seven kills. Three of them here in this game. And it's 11 serving one. Yi Zhang Lee, jump serve. That's an ace. As Lee has three aces now in this game, in this match. Two in the game. 12 serving one. Crawl will come out, or rather come in, and coming out is Jenna Barkley. John Lee serves it up. End of the net. I think she got tired. And it'll be two serving 12. Set to serve is Brionis. She gets it across. Williams with a dig. Set by Bronco for Quadrano. Dug off. The deck by Brionis to Durkis to Yijong Lee in the back row. Bronco will set Quadrano and Juliana answers with another kill. Quadrano with eight. He's going to get into the action before it's over. And it's 13 serving 12. Quadrano to serve. Checks the sideline for the placement of this serve. And that's not the placement she got. She hit it into the net. Cougars seem to be on their way to the semifinals of the postseason tournament. Leading here 13-3. Nago gets it across. They got by Williams to Bronco to Brazzolino with a thundering drive dug by Nago. And Nago then gets the free ball across. Brazzolino will give it to Bronco who dinks it down. Luana Bronco with her fifth kill. Luana Bronco came into this match with 1,178 assists. 14 serving three. Cougars won the first two handily, 30 to 15 and 30 to 12. Here's the serve by Bronco. Handled by Troll. They get it over to Chapman. Off speed shot. She dumps it in over the block. Nice move there by Rhonda Chapman for her fifth kill. And now in the serve is Jenna Bark. Barkley gets it across, handled by Williams to Bronco, to Aaron McCaffrey, who just entered, and she delivers the kill. McCaffrey, the junior from Kalamazoo, with the scorebook. 15 serving four. Very quiet arena here tonight. Everybody just watching. Brazzolino scores an ace. Hit it off the top of the net, and it falls in, and Brazzolino. 
Signal now with 13 kills, a black, and an eight. And the Cougars have their largest lead here in game three. They're up 12. 16, serving four. Rosalino's next serve. Handled by Chapman, and she hit it side out. Point Cougars. That'll go as an eight for Rosalino. Rosalino makes a little of adjustment to her approach on this serve. As she is set, shoots this one right at Nago. Nago got it near the net, and Lee Young Lee called for coming over the net. Net violation on Lee Young Lee. Point for Harris Stowe. That gives Harris Stowe five points. Two net service for points. The net violation for points. Good shot by Chapman while go for a point. Here is the serve by Leha across. They said Ejong Lee are off speed shot handled by Troll. Now Archancho back to Ejong Lee, and that is side out on the return. Point Columbia. Cougars get another one. 18 serving five. Jessica Williams now to serve. Aaron McCaffrey is out of there. And here's a serve by Williams across. Chapman with a dig. The set for Troll blocked up front by Quadrano. They get it under control, get it across. Bronco sets Quadrano for another kill. Juliana Quadrano with eight kills. Correction at nine. 19 serving five. Jessica Williams, who has an ace tonight, delivers this one to Nagel. To Briones, to Troll. And that uh, is miss hit. A point for the Hornets is the Cougars couldn't dig it. 19 will serve six, or rather six serve at 19. Dirk is to serve handled by Jessica Williams. Here's the dig and a set, and it's handled by the Hornets. Jeannie Myers out there now gets it up front. Archancho with a kill attempt. That's handled by the Hornets. Bronco now will set Archancho again, and that one's in for a kill. Francilia Archancho with her first kill. So Archancho has scored. Mary McWilliams had an ace, so she has scored. Rosalino, of course, pairing it up. Archancho will serve here. Quadrano coming on. Aviada Nass has four kills. Archancho serve is into the net. Seven will serve 20. Megan Traw, another freshman, gets it across. Myers with the dig up front to Bronco, handled by Barkley. Now, a nice diving save there by Williams. And here's the set and a kill for Ejong Lee. Bronco with the set. Ejong Lee now with 13 kills, tying Brazilino. Ejong Lee will serve on the way, and that is to Durkis. Durkis to Brionis, to Nago, and Jeannie Meyer misread it, point for the Hornets. Jeannie Myers out of Green Ridge, Missouri, a 5'10 junior. Eight serving 21. Brionis serves across, Myers with a dig up to Bronco, Bronco back to Jeannie Myers, and Myers hit it out. Side out. Look good from here. Point for the Hornets. A nine serving 21. Here's the serve on the way for Brionis. Williams had trouble with it, but now Jessica, after getting a pass, gets it across. Here's the set for Chapman. Dug by Archancho. To Bronco. To Meyer. And that's going in for a kill. Jeannie Myers with a kill. Everybody that's played is marked in this match for Columbia. Jessica Williams comes out. Juliana Quadrano to serve. This is 22 serving nine. Quadrano serves cross. Troll can't handle it. That's an ace. Juliana Quadrano with her second kill. Quadrano has 126 blocks with the two tonight on the year. Quadrano's next serve. Dug out of there by Durkin. She gets it back. And Ejong Lee can't handle it 
Almost got Matt Nestor, the Columbia Tribune, down there on the scores bench. Just about got him on that docket. He'll be all right. Now, Lindsey Nagel will serve. This is 10, serving 23. Nagel gets it across. Williams with a dig. Here's a set for Jeannie Myers. That's block side out. Dirkus with a block, but it went deep and went side out. Point Cougar, 24, serving 10. Luana Bronco goes to the back row to serve. Match getting close to an hour in length. Here's Bronco serve. That's a cross. Dug by Troll. The set by Brionis to Chapman, and they can't get it across. Point Cougar. 25 will serve 10. Luana Bronco getting the location of the serve from Cougar Bench. Here is her high-floating serve, and she dropped it short. Serve is there, point four, the Hornets. Now 11 will serve 25. Sure. Hornets with a 7 and 26 season. It's coming to an end tonight. Here is the serve dug by Williams. The Bronco up top. Now to Archancho. And hello, Fran Sealing. Thundering kill. 26 serving 11. Jeannie Myers will serve now for Columbia. Myers with the slap serve, gets it in along the back row. That's an ace for Jeannie Myers. And the Cougars lead 27 to 11, three points away from game and match. Jeannie Myers' next serve is across, handled by Leha. And they set the ball for Durkis. She hits it side out, point Cougars, and it is 28 to 11. They play this match in less than an hour. Myers next serve, floats across, and it's handled by Leha. Leha gets it back from Chapman. She gets it across. Williams with a dig. Bronco with a set for Archancho. That's a kill, and it's now match point. Francili, Ar Francili Archancho with a third kill, and they're on their feet here at the arena of the Southwell Complex. Jeannie Myers ready to serve. 29 serving 11. It's across. Troll with a dig. Riona's back to Troll. And it's dug by Myers after the set to Ejong Lee getting across Archancho to Chapman to Brionis. Brionis to Durkis, and she drives it in for the point. Cougars tried to block it, could not. So 12 will serve 29. Serving is Angela Leha. Leha, right handed server, trying to keep the season alive for the Hornets, gets it across. Myers with a dig. Up front, the Bronco, the set for Archancho, deflected, dug by Brionis. Here's a shot by Troll, handled by Bronco to Archancho to Ejon Lee. That's a cross. And a net violation, net violation point. Cougars, game Cougars, match Cougars. As Columbia wins it, in right at 56 minutes, they win this match, winning it here tonight by scores of 30 to 15. 30 to 12 and 30 to 12. The Cougars score the match win. They improve to 25 and 6. Season ends for Harris Stowe. They fought a 7 and 27. And Columbia will advance to the semifinals. They will play on Thursday night here at home against the winner of the University of Illinois Springfield William Baptist match taking place tonight in the capital of Illinois, Springfield. We'll be back with our post-match activities in a moment. This is Columbia Cougar Volleyball on ColumbiaCougars.com. Let the best Western Columbia host your next meeting or special occasion. We're conveniently located at the heart of Central Missouri at the junction of Highway 63 and Interstate 70. Along with our excellent customer service, we offer 122 newly renovated sleeping rooms with a wide range of amenities, including a free hot breakfast. With over 5,200 square feet of meeting space, we can accommodate a wide range of group sizes and events. Our experienced staff will help you with all of your special needs to make your event successful. Everyone knows the secret to having a successful gathering is having it at the right place. So when planning your next event, let the best Western Columbia Inn be the right place for you. 
your number one choice for comfort, convenience, and quality. For reservations, call 1-800-362-3185. Best Western Columbia Inn. Columbia College is once again home of the NAIA Volleyball National Championship, and the action runs from November the 28th through December the 1st. You, too, can be part of this spectacular event by volunteering. Volunteers will receive free admission to all matches and a free T-shirt. Get all the details online at ColumbiaCougars.com or contact Cindy at 573-875-7454. Volunteer today and be a part of the NAIA Volleyball National Championship. Back here at the arena of the Southwell Complex, the Cougars score another match win. They win it tonight by scores of 30-15, to 30-12, to and 30-12, to 12, eliminating Harris Stowe from the AMC postseason tournament. Cougars are led by Daniela Brazzolino, 13 kills, one block, and two aces. Right behind her, Ejean Lee with 13 kills and three aces. Juliana Quadrano finished with nine kills, two blocks, and two aces. Fabiana Nass with four kills off the bench. Jeannie Myers with a kill and an ace. Luana Bronco with numerous assists at five kills and an ace. Carrie McWilliams had an ace, three kills for Maria Omande and a block. And Jessica Williams had two aces. Karen McCaffrey had a kill. Francilia Archancho with three kills off the bench. Leading scorer in the match for Harris Stowe was Lindsay Nagel. Nagel, six kills and a block. And Rhonda Chapman finished with five kills and two blocks. Four kills for Lindsay Durkis and two kills for Megan Troll. The Cougars had little problem here tonight disposing of H of Harris Stowe in just 56 minutes to score their 25th victory of the season. Again, Harris Stowe's season comes to a close, and the Cougars now await the winner of the University of Illinois Springfield Williams Baptist match. McHenry is also in action tonight, taking on William Wood. That's in Lebanon, Illinois, and in St. Louis, HLG is playing Missouri Baptist. With all those first-round matches due to be conclu- concluded here in the near future, we should have the semifinalists for Thursday night. But we know the Cougars are in, and because they are the one seed and still alive, they will be hosting. And, of course, if they can win on Thursday, they will be hosting the AMC Championship match, which would be on Saturday, probably Saturday afternoon. We'll be back to visit with Melinda Rye Washington right after this. can be a real balancing act, can it? Careers, kids, mortgages. And the more things are up in the air, the more you want them under control. That's where shelter insurance comes in. We insure your car, home, life, and peace of mind. We offer competitive rates to take care of the business of life so you can concentrate on something more important, enjoying your life. Interested? Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Seek shelter today. The Cougars remind you that a winner always uses a designated driver or volunteers to be one. Be a good sport. Keep our roads safe. Always put safe driving at the top of your lineup. A message from the Columbia Cougars, Budweiser, and N.H. Shepherds Distributing Company. Welcome back to the arena of the Southwood Complex, where tonight the Cougars made very quick work of the Harris Stowe Hornets, winning this match in three games, 30-15, 30-12, and 30-12. And we're joined by Melinda I. Washington, the head coach of the Cougars, now with 304 match victories. And Coach Washington, uh, ball club looked pretty good tonight. Yeah, they, you know, they, they did okay. Uh, serving and fan passing was good. It was uh, tough to come in here and get motivated for tonight. But we're, we're preparing for the postseason. We've got, uh, we did a lot of, uh, we had some things in our warm-up tonight, some lunges and some plyometric work. And, uh, you know, got a lot accomplished tonight. So uh, we, I thought we looked well. And, and uh, hopefully we can stay healthy through the postseason. I think one of the things that I was most impressed with, you already mentioned this, but uh, you're serving uh, just a few service errors, and most of them late. I'm not sure if one or two of them didn't come because of fatigue, because of the length of the serve. Yeah, they, uh, you know, they, they did a nice job of hitting their spots tonight. Brian was, uh, I called game one, and Brian called game two and three, my assistant coach. and He did a nice job of calling spots. They did a nice job of, of hitting them, and sometimes changing things up like that uh, makes you focus a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, I thought that they, they reacted well to Brian Collins serves, and he called the right zone, so uh, it was a good night. Daniela Brazzolino seemed like she was on a mission. She did well, yeah. She, she played well tonight. You know, she's been battling a groin injury for most of the season, and she's finally starting to work through that. Um, Georgetown and 
uh, even the week before starting uh, during the, I guess, National American and, and um, Black Hill State Dickinson week uh, when we went up to South Dakota, we started to see her turn the corner with that groin injury, and she's been getting better and better uh, throughout the season. She comes from Oral Roberts University, which is a Division One school that qualified for the NCAA Division One National Tournament last year. So she came from a good program and um, is used to seeing a big block coming from that D1 level. And, uh, when she's healthy and jumping well, she's really effective on the outside for us. Do you have a preference on either Illinois Springfield or Williams Baptist uh, on Thursday? You know, not really. I think that um, we played uh, Illinois Springfield more recently. Um, we had three good games. Again, they ended up taking us four. We didn't play real well one game. We changed our lineup around a little bit and had, had some other things. But um, we, we played them more recently. We have the film. We've already scouted that film uh, and, and marked down their, their tendencies. Um, you know, I, it doesn't matter to us, I don't think. I think we have both of them charted out, and we know what to expect. They're very similar teams, so uh, both really scrappy teams, heavy on the outside. They're going to set their outside hitters a lot, which is good for us because we defend that in practice, uh, you know, quite a bit. So um, we match up pretty well against both teams. It doesn't really matter who it is. Overall, though, another solid performance, right? Pretty good, yeah. We, you know, we, we lacked a little bit of mental focus just in uh, we shouldn't have let them score as many points as they did. They didn't score a whole lot anyway, but it, it, we shouldn't have let them score as many as they did. But it's real hard to motivate your team, you know, on a night like tonight. So. Well, thanks and congratulations. Thank you very much. Melinda well, Ryan Washington, head coach of the Cougars. They win it again tonight, three games, 30-15, 30-12, and 30-12. Back in action on Thursday. Free match activity comes your way at 6.50 on ColumbiaCougars.com and then the first serve at 7. I'm Tex Little, so long from